Okay, let's look at equations that have distribution on both sides. So if I have 3 times x minus 8 equals 2 times x plus 5, first thing I look for is the distributive property. So I have distribution on the right side or the left side I should say, and I have distribution over here. So if I distribute on the left, I have three times one x, so I'll end up with three x minus 24 equals, and then I'm gonna do two times one, so two x, two times positive five is positive 10. Now I'm going to look for like terms on each side of the equation. 3x and 24 are not alike, neither are 2x or 10. So I am going to move my variable from the right to the left. So I'm going to move positive 2x. Since it's positive, I will subtract it. It has to go underneath the other x. So I end up with 1x minus 24 equals positive 10. Now I'm going to move the 24, negative 24. So since this is negative, I will add 24 to each side. So I end up with x equals 34. So let's say I have negative 5 times y minus 6 equals 3y minus 4. And we'll put that y minus 4 in parentheses. So once again, I'm looking for the distributive property. So I see that, once again, I have it two times. So I need to distribute this side, and I also need to distribute this side. So if I distribute negative 5 times 1y, I end up with negative 5y. Negative 5 times negative 6 is positive 30. That will equal 3 times y is 3y. Three, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Now, I'm looking for any like terms. Negative 5 and 30 are not alike. 3 and y are also not alike. So 3y and negative 12, sorry, are also not alike. So once again, I'm going to move my variable term off the right. So I end up with, I'm going to subtract 3y. So I have negative 8y plus 30 equals negative 12. Now I'm going to move my constant away from the uh, y side. So I have negative 8 is attached to y. I have negative 30. So I'm going to move negative or the positive 30 next. So since that is positive, I will subtract. So I have negative 8y equals negative 42. And finally, I will divide now by my coefficient of negative 8. So if I divide by negative 8 on each side, I end up with y equals positive 42, 8. Let's take a look at one last example. So let's say I have 1 half and then... 8x minus 6, and that's going to equal 1 third times 6x minus 12. And we'll do negative 6x. So once again, I'm looking to see if I have to distribute. And I have to distribute on the left and on the right. 1 half of 8 is 4, so I end up with 4x. I can make that red. 4x minus half of 6 is 3. And that's going to equal 1 third times negative 6 is negative 2x. 1 third of negative 12 is negative 4. Once again, I'll look for like terms. I don't have any. So I will move my variable term from the right. So I'm going to move negative 2x. Since it's negative, I will add 2x to each side. So I have 6x 
minus 3 equals negative 4. And now we're back to a two-step equation. So I'm going to now move my constant of negative 3. Since it's negative, I will add 3. So I have 6x, these 0 out, equals negative 1. Now finally move the coefficient. So I'm going to move 6. So I will divide both sides by 6. And I end up with x equals negative 1 sixth. I will just leave my answer like that, and I'm not going to turn it into a decimal. All right, Tuesday we'll be playing a game.